We are here for the premiere of Project Envoy Shark Carl. We're shining a light on the archaic system that we have in this country around um, protecting surfers and swimmers at our beaches with these horrendous shark nets that actually catch more bycatch than sharks. We're killing in the Great Barrier Reef Marine Park. I think once people realize what's happening, how senseless the killing actually is, I think they should be outraged about what is happening to Australia's beautiful natural resources. We're the government and we are keeping you safe from this big scary thing. They have no education in, no background in, and don't know what they're doing. There's a good chance this documentary may actually start its own feeding frenzy. I think it was shock value. I just wasn't aware. And for two people who are conscious of our environment, uh, that just makes me want to take action immediately. Well, for me, it was really inspirational seeing so many of these awesome people doing this work, because it looks like a lot of hard work. Yeah, it's seeing things that I, I love diving with, just dying in shark nets and, and laws in place to stop people from being able to free them. Drum lines, things like that don't even work. So why are we even bothering with them? And there's so many amazing um, other uh, options out there. Yeah, they can sign the petition, projectonboy.com.au. You've got the card there. Is it that one? Yeah, there's a QR code that people can log on to and uh, just, you know what, we need to start taking action. Yeah. Our voices matter, our, our actions matter, but we've actually got to have the courage to take action because the politicians, they work for us and uh, I know a lot of them are out there just trying to protect their jobs, but then instead of protecting the human race, and the best way to protect the human race is actually to protect the marine life that lives under the water, because without healthy oceans, we don't have humans.